the Martin Wong collection was donated to the Museum of the City of New York in 1994. What we see in, in this collection is Martin's true and profound belief in the work of these artists, in, in the belief that what they, were, what they were creating had value. Martin Wong was one of the artists that um, was part of our group in the East Village in the early 80s in the gallery scene, the alternative spaces down in the East Village. When I started to kind of um, know him uh, as an artist and, and I got to know a lot about his own work, that's when, okay, I realized he's one of us. He was very supportive of, of our culture, you know, uh, to see it all happen and be where it is now, it's kind of unreal. I never thought it would come out like that, you know, like my work would be in a museum in Martin's collection. You know. If he didn't grab those books, no one would ever see them, and that would be a real loss. Today we have some real perspective to look back on the 20 odd years of graffiti in New York City and when the work that's in this gallery was created with some perspective. We can see um, how in the intervening years the movement has really affected uh, a broader culture. It's great to see this in the light of the day, in the light of a museum, a museum environment uh, in the city of New York. Uh, it's a great feeling of arrival. Most of us have exhibited extensively in Europe and in Asia, but for the most part, you know, it, we've been perhaps marginalized in terms of whatever people perceive as being, you know, quote unquote, high art. I think the G word, the graffiti word, will always have that sort of effect on people. They'll just see the bad. But two new words, street art, it kind of expands your thought a bit. This isn't something that is taught in school by an institution. This is just a lot of dedicated people applying themselves and doing the best that they can. And that's what art movements need because they always need a re rejuvenation, you know, within, within.